Hey, you. Come here. What if I told you that there was an MCU Spider-Man costume that Marvel doesn't want you to see? It's a Spider-Man costume worn early on in the career of Tom Holland in some of his first days being Spider-Man on set of Captain America Civil War. But once the film was released, this costume was scrubbed from the movie and replaced by one that some fans would say is way, way worse. That would be this suit. Tom Holland's Civil War mid-production suit or I guess the scrap suit would actually be a more fitting term. I cannot tell you how much this specific costume has a hold on so many fans and haters of the MCU alike. And I mean, those terms are really just the same thing at this point. I mean, there's not a single MCU hater that I know that isn't watching these movies within the first week of their release. It's almost like we're slaves to the shitty content that Marvel pumps out. We have no choice. We gotta consume, guys. We gotta consume. Come on, we're Americans. Ignore all the terrible politics, guys. Consume, consume, consume. And you know what, fine. It's got a hold on me too, okay? This costume is really, really pretty to look at. It's beautiful. Like, like don't get me wrong. I definitely like the suit that they replaced this one with, but... Oh God, I can feel my liver failing because I have to say something really difficult. The old one's better. Even if I like the new one, the old one is so much better, dude. I need to go to a hospital. I made the neck of this costume too short and then my real neck keeps showing. And I mean, yeah, I know I went up to bat for this costume in my old shitty Spider-Man suit retrospective series, but I can't let my personal enjoyment of a costume get in the way of actually criticizing it and addressing its problems. See, the Stark suit is pretty much just Spider-Man's red and blue bright classic outfit but it's got these additional black straps and, and the lines on the blue portion, which are extraneous and honestly unneeded. These two additions to the classic Spider-Man costume have been keeping fans from thoroughly enjoying this costume for a really, really, really long time. But not me, you know, cause I'm better than that and my taste is so refined and so good. Oh God, I'm like the only person who likes this thing. The thing is, this costume has the same exact design tropes as the Homecoming one. But for some reason, fans love this one. They don't fucking like that one. But there's a reason for that, and I'm gonna tell you why. See, when you look at the Stark suit and you see the black bands that trail across the shoulders and the, all the red parts in the boots and shit or whatever, they stick out a lot because the costume is bright red and blue. I need to shave, dude. My facial hair and this mask are not going together well, dude. It, it, it's uncomfortable. But the scrap suit actually improves this feature by scaling down its color palette to just be pretty much red, navy blue, and some different variations of navy blue. Now, when you go back to look at the straps, you can actually see they blend in with the costume much better because they don't really even look like straps. They just look like different parts of the costume, not black, long strips that were glued onto the costume that would have already looked pretty good without them. I know the MCU line thing has been complained about to death, and yes, it's apparent in the homecoming suit. If you just look at its leggings, holy shit, there are so many fucking lines that don't need to be there, and yet here they are. But you see, the scrap suit also has these lines. You just can't really see them because they're hidden within the navy blue, and that wouldn't really, I wouldn't really say it fixes the problem. It just makes the problem less noticeable. So if anything, it just kind of puts the flex seal whoosh, fucking tape slap over the water hole. It was better than nothing. And with that, this suit manages to improve pretty much both of the major design flaws in the Spider-Man Homecoming. Stop messaging me on fucking Discord while I'm recording. I'm gonna kill you. Anyway, as I was saying, this costume is a major improvement over this one. But improve isn't really the right word, is it, chronologically speaking? You see, this costume got fucking replaced by the homecoming one. So they didn't really improve it. They actually downgraded. So when you see people fucking throwing firebombs into Marvel's offices or fucking 
ripping fucking stop signs out of the ground and fucking beating the shit out of Marvel executives with them screaming, they replaced one of the best costumes they ever made of all time. They got rid of it. They're kind of right. I'm going to try a reverse tug, okay? Because my neck, I know my neck is showing on camera, okay? Check me out. Usually, you do the tuck like that. So, let's get this all together. Marvel made a really, really, really good costume. And fuck, they even got to the point where they made the thing. Two of them! One of them for Tom Holland to wear, and one of them for the stunt double, Marvin Ross, to wear. Marvin Ross has actually helped a lot with keeping this costume alive, ironically. He's been posting about this costume ever since he was assigned to be the stunt double with Tom Holland. In fact, I think a lot of this stuff would not be known by the internet, and we would not have a lot of the images seen here if it weren't for Marvin Ross, and for the cool people on Twitter who I asked for pictures of this suit, and they gave them to me. Thank you for everyone who replied. Hopefully your names are on screen. All right, so again, let's get back on track. Marvel designed a costume. They got to the point where they actually fucking made it, two of them, and then they fucking trashed it, threw it away, locked it up in the goddamn Marvel gulag to never be seen by anyone ever. We're not gonna see this fucking thing again. And you know why we're not gonna fucking see it? Cause it's gone. It's fucking gone now. Do you know where it's gonna be? It's gonna be in an auction. 15 years from now, this thing's gonna be auctioned off for a million bucks, okay? And some rich dickhead's gonna buy it, okay? And then he's gonna fucking wear it and never ever show it to the world again. He's gonna use it for the rest of his life to live out his depraved sex fantasies of fucking people in a Spider-Man costume. That wasn't a projection. So yeah, they got rid of everything they did just to make a shittier version. And I know I've been pretty clear about liking the costume that they replaced this one with, but to be honest, if I could go back and rewrite the timeline to put this old suit back in, I'd probably do it. You see, I'm not your average human being. I value the happiness of most others beyond my own. And even though I like this costume, I know a lot of people don't fucking like it, and if I could replace it with one that is critically a way better costume, and it makes a lot of people happy, fuck it, I want the better costume. It's just that this costume is so fucking amazing, man. It's just a marvel to look at. You got the fucking classic Spider-Man logo on the front and the back whip around, turn him around, smack that ass. Look at the fucking back logo. That is fucking amazing. I love the way the blue borders on the on the on the red parts. I love that little red accent line that gets created, especially on the back. Looks fucking amazing. You know the colors are just a little bit darker than I'd like them, but you know what? It's fine. It's a great costume. And you'll never fucking see it again. It's gone now. It's gone forever. You're never going to see it. I'm glazing up this thing. You're never going to see it again. It's going to be gone. Fucking uh, rich man fucking I, whatever the joke was i said five minutes ago they really had a super 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 cool costume here but they tossed it and they fucking got rid of it for no good reason literally nobody knows why marvel decided to get rid of this costume but i have a theory but first ugh. My friend Trey has a shirt shop. This is Stitch Me In. This is my best friend Trey's shirt shop. And oh boy, he is selling them goddamn shirts. I really like this shirt. In fact, my friend Gavin had a test prototype for years before I got one. And I was very upset about that because I really like these fucking shirts, man. This shit is boss. And I'll tell you what, boy, if you like this shirt, you can get your own fucking shirt. And there are so, 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 so much more coming. In fact, me and Trey even want to do a little PSM merch drop at some point in the future. He's going to be designing some super cool PSM shirts. So, if you want that to happen, please let Trey know how much you value his work by getting a shirt. You help my best friend out, you fucking get yourself some nice looking clothing, go buy the shirt because the man in the spandex told you to. It's for a good reason. In fact, if you buy a shirt and tag me on Twitter, I'll fucking retweet it and I'll leave a like. And remember, if this actually does well, 
there's probably a bigger chance that you guys are gonna get a PSM merch drop in the future. We're figuring it out, but hopefully it'll happen. Add over. Here's my theory. Now, if you head over to California and go to one of the Disneyland parks, you'll find Avengers Campus, where you'll see so many superhero people dressed up and in their up-to-date MCU costumes. Essentially, if a big MCU event happens or a character changes their costume or their look in a movie, the actor in the park is going to be wearing an all-new costume that is literally just the same exact one from the film, just on a slightly lower budget. Each respective character gets their own update whenever their own movie comes out. All except Spider-Man. Uh, this is future Kai cutting in. Uh, past Kai is wrong. They don't update every single costume for every new movie, and rather they just add new characters from that movie. But still, it's safe to say that most other characters get entirely accurate costumes according to the film that they appeared, or I guess debuted in. All except Spider-Man. Spider-Man is fucking stuck in this fucking garbage. And he's been stuck in this goddamn thing since the park's debut. You know, I saw this costume for myself for the first time, and I thought to myself, wow, this thing is fucking dog shit. Oh well. And then I moved the fuck on about my day and never thought about it again. Cause that's what happens when you make bad media. It's just, wow, this thing sucks. I'm gonna move on now. So I didn't think about that shitty costume again until I saw it in Marvel's What If. By the way, I sat through like every episode of What If because I was really, really, really excited to see the Spider-Man episode. Every fucking Wednesday, I would go see this fucking stupid show and I'd be like, yeah, man, where's Spider-Man at? And he finally gets here, man. I'm so fucking excited. It's Spider-Man. I fucking love Spider-Man. And I fucking hated the way he was written in the show. I fucking hated him. Literally, my smile evaporated. He's written to be super fucking annoying. He's extremely out of character the whole episode. He's lost pretty much everyone he knows and loves other than Happy Hogan. And yet here he, here he is, his fucking big smile on his face, Happy Camper. And he's wearing that shitty costume again. I thought it was so weird that he's not wearing the costume that he should have been wearing in this episode. If this takes place during Infinity War, then at this point he should be wearing the Stark suit, but he's not. Why wouldn't Marvel put him in the correct suit? And then I thought about it. You see, everyone knows that Marvel and Sony have had a really rocky relationship, especially at the beginning of including Spider-Man in the MCU. Marvel's creating this new big movie with Captain America, and they want Spider-Man in it. So Marvel signs a deal with Sony, they get Spider-Man in the fucking movie, but something goes wrong. Maybe Sony wanted Marvel to go a different way with the costume, or, or someone working on Spider-Man Homecoming wanted a different costume for the film. Maybe Marvel and Sony don't have the rights to use costumes from each other's respective properties unless there's money to be made and they sign a contract and agree on it. Sony's not making any money off of the Disneyland theme parks, and Sony's not making any money off of the What If episode where Spider-Man shows up which is exactly why he's not wearing the right costume. My theory is that this costume got caught up in Marvel and Sony's capitalistic web of debauchery, and that is why we didn't get this costume. Or the much boring answer is maybe fucking someone on the Spider-Man Homecoming team didn't like this costume. If you actually look at this concept art of Spider-Man's scrapped costume, you'll see that it has the Spider-Man Homecoming logo in the corner, which means that it wasn't made for Civil War, it was made for Spider-Man Homecoming. This was the design that they'd agreed upon for the longest time, until one of the costume designers of the movie realized it wasn't what they wanted anymore. They were so early in the production of Spider-Man Homecoming that they had changed the script, and now they're at a point where Peter Parker is a cute, huggable, soft, aesthetic boy, and this more drab official looking superhero costume maybe doesn't fit his image as much so they scrapped it and they got rid of it and replaced it with one 
that is critically worse. Doesn't fucking make any sense anyway. If they kept this costume, I think Spider-Man Homecoming still would have held up the exact same way. In fact, even better. The entire arc of Spider-Man Homecoming is that Peter wants to abandon his social life so that he can go be an Avenger. And I think this works so much better when you fucking don't have these bright red and blue footy pajamas and you instead use this costume that actually takes a lot of traits from most of the MCU suits. It's darker, it's got the bullshit lines on it, it looks super rubbery, it looks more like an actual superhero costume. So if Peter's point in Spider-Man Homecoming is that he wants to escape to be a superhero, you should give him this more superhero-y looking costume, not these red and blue inflatable footy pajamas. These guys are fucking idiots, man. Fuck this company. They ruin everything I fucking love. Everything. Spider-Man comics? Boo! Fucking ruined, bitch. You got fucking cuffed. Zeb Wells? Got one for you. Spider-Man costumes? Boom, bitch. Get fucking shit on. Those things suck. What are they fucking gonna do next? What else could they possibly do? How could this get any worse? They're probably gonna take my goddamn channel. The video is over.